Peggy. Uh huh. This is it. Yep. That's the whole thing right there. A little teeny script this time. What's yeah. this? Well, that's the uh, sexual positions. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because there's a three-way scene. You right. know, in all these years, did you always do that? Always. I can't express my delight at having Joseph Sarno here with us tonight. His career spans at least 75 feature films. He has worked both in Europe and in America. He is not just one of the true auteurs of the sexploitation genre, but a notable and distinctive American filmmaker of any type and of any era. I'd like to welcome Joe Sarno with his wife, Peggy. If you want to make this film, whether it's in California or New Jersey, yes. you're not feeling well. You never complain because you're getting older. That's for sure. Right. Listen, a guy who can sit down at a typewriter Monday and Thursday morning hand you a finished script, all broken down, which could be done in budget, right. with the talent, what are you going to say? To me, breathing is the answer to a sexual situation. And if I could get people to breathe sexually, i get a hot film. And then the women got on it and wrote it. It, it was able to, oh, the two phalluses fell right out. <laughs> that was a mistake. I think Peggy and I, we grew very close, the first film we made, and fell in love. Joe said to me, you have to choose between me and your mother. Now, I wasn't very keen about Peggy marrying Joe. And we were very proper people, and Joe wasn't. I don't think we'd still be married if we never came to Sweden. I was never ashamed. It's like, you know, certain things you don't tell Americans. But now I do. I always did. Yeah. <laughs>